Welcome to the WTCC, or World Touring Car Championship. Like Formula One, it's one of the major international racing series organized by the FIA, the Fédération Internationale de l'Automobile. Since 2005, races have been held on tracks in Europe, South America, Africa and Asia. This year, 18 drivers started the competition, driving cars made by BMW, Seat and Chevrolet. Since 2009, Chevrolet's car has been the Cruze WTCC. As required by the regulations, the racing car differs from the standard production series car in only a few details. In addition to Swiss driver Alain Menu and Robert Huff of Britain, who have been driving for Chevrolet since the beginning, Ivan Muller of France joined the team as the third driver this year. He immediately made an impression on the series, winning the first race of the season. It's always better to start the season with a victory than, uh, than a bad result. Um, but the season will be long, we have to stay uh, focused. Um, uh, the other team, other constructors are, are strong still and uh, they push hard, so we have to, to stay focused and work hard. The 41-year-old is no newcomer to the WTCC. Before joining Chevrolet, he drove for Seat. And while Ivan may be familiar with many aspects of the WTCC racing, there were things about Chevrolet that he had to learn from scratch. For me, many things is different than, uh, than it was in the past. Uh, the atmosphere, the culture, the way to work is, is quite different. And I still have to learn how the, work, the team works. Uh, but um, oh, it will take some time, but step by step I will be there. He quickly learned his way around the team's pit area, but he's still adjusting to his new race car. When he drove for Seat, his car was a diesel. His Chevrolet has a gasoline-powered engine. The way to drive and the way to set up, uh, it's quite different than, uh, than the petrol car. So uh, there as well, I had three, three days uh, of, uh, of test before the first race since uh, nothing, so still not enough. I still have a lot of uh, to do. Uh, I still have to learn a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, it will take some time for sure. Signing Ivan Muller was a real coup for the Chevrolet team. He brought with him a great deal of experience that has benefited not only the other drivers, but the team's engineers as well. He's got an awful lot of experience, uh, so um, as a result, he uh, brings up new ideas, which is very good. Also, from uh, from a team strategy point of view, that's obviously quite important, and he's fitted in our team very, very well. Muller's teammates appreciate the suggestions and ideas he brings to their work. Ivan's a seasoned season professional, um, he's, he's obviously won the World Championship, he's, he's time on time been voted the best world touring car driver and, and pretty much the best touring car driver in the world so it's great to see what he has to bring to the team, new ideas uh, for directions to go with the car, with the developments and so on. Muller won the WTCC with Seat in 2008, in 2007 and 2009 he came in second. The switch from Seat to Chevrolet brought with it challenges for everyone involved. But Muller hasn't complicated the issue by demanding special treatment. To work with, he's quite relaxed because he obviously won the championship. Before that, he won uh, in the BTCC. So, so I think he uh, he's not desperate to uh, to do well this year. Obviously, you know, he wants to win, but uh, he's looking at the big picture and try to uh, to help Chevrolet into uh, winning the championship. He's also popular around the racetrack and comfortable with the press. <laughs> the newest member of Chevrolet's team seems to feel right at home, but he also knows there's room for improvement. See you later. I feel more at home, still not completely, but it's, it's normal. And uh, especially in the car, I still need some more mileage with the car, but uh, you know, step by step, it'll be, it, it, uh, I will be there. That modesty isn't quite reflected on the track. With half the season under his belt, Ivan Muller leads the standings. He's also on course to fulfill his team's objectives. Chevrolet is number one in the constructor's standings.